Hello, Jenny Hall here for Honey Bee Stamps. Today I'm sharing a project made with the spotlight technique. I'm going to use one of our new release buzzwords. This is the home buzzword, Honeycuts dies, and coordinating stamp set. I'm also using the Lovely Layers Pinecone die set. Let's start out by creating the technique. I've started with a piece of colored cardstock. This cardstock is a very light blue color, and I'm starting out by adding a light to medium blue color. This is Salty Ocean Distress Oxide ink. It's definitely a shade darker than the cardstock itself, which it's going to, you, basically the cardstock is my first layer of color. It's going to not be white, and that way it's going to help me to build up more blue tones. So once I've added that salty ocean around the outside edges, trying very hard not to go too far into the spotlight area, then I've brought in another darker blue, which is Blueprint Sketch. Now this is going to go over that light area, but not overlap it in the spotlight area. So in the spotlight area so far, we have just the colored cardstock and the salty ocean. And then I've brought the salty ocean back over, you know, used what's on the brush already. And that's going to help me to get the blue around the outside, but nothing in the middle. Now I'm going to add black soot distress oxide ink around the edges. It's not going to turn everything solid black around the outside. Instead, it's going to enhance that blue and just make it a very deep, dark, super rich blue color when that black ink mixes with the blueprint sketch that's on the outside edges. It is so cool to watch how that happens. So now we have this gorgeous piece of paper that is filled with dimension. It almost looks like moonlight to me, doesn't it? Now I've added a water spritz, picked that up with a dry cloth, and now we're going to add some paint splatters with some diluted white acrylic paint. Just tapping it off of the end of a paintbrush is easy enough. You could also dab this on if you like. Now I'm going to add some black splatters with that same black soot. Not much, just enough to grab the attention. I'll need to be making some die cuts, and so I thought, well, I could make my own, or I could use a piece of cardstock. And I can get so much more dimension out of a piece of cardstock by adding my own ink blending than I could if I started with a piece of colored cardstock. So I've taken just a scrap of cardstock and added a few greens and that same black ink. And I'm kind of heavy handed on the black ink for this project, but I wanted there to really be a huge high contrast in colors. Once I've added some water droplets and picked them up with a cloth, just like on the blue panel, then I'm going to just splatter on some more of that white acrylic ink. And keeping in mind that this is not going to be what the finished product looks like because it's only used for making the die cuts. I'm using the three different branch dies that are in the Lovely Layers Pine Cone die set. And I'm going to make sure I get them down into that black inked area. That way this will almost appear like a shadowed area. And some of the branches that are in front of the others need to be much lighter. I added some splatters to the initial panel, but they kind of got lost when I made the die cuts. So I'm using some more splatters here. Boy, we are really splattering things up today. I wanted it to look like a snowy day or maybe a snowy nighttime scene. 
So I'm picking up each one of those and adding with the end of the paintbrush just a little bit of that white acrylic paint. Now I have created four different die cuts and one holographic die cut from that buzzword. This is a really cool buzzword. The, all of the new buzzwords are so much fun to craft with. And I like that I can stack them up really easy because the pieces don't flop around too much. Sometimes when I make word die cuts, they're so hard for me to place together and build them up. But this, this is absolutely easy to use. So I've used some of the, the Craft Perfect Holographic foil and I'll be sure to link the name of it down in the video description with a link so you can have a look at it and investigate it. This is, I love this new holographic paper that's carried in the Honey Bee Shop. I'm going to use some black cardstock and white embossing powder with some juicy embossing ink from Ink on 3 to create a few words that are going to go on the card as well. So once that's heat set with my heat tool, then, and it's cooled, I'll take a dry cloth and get all the extra anti-static powder bag off of the black cardstock. I'm adding this panel to a white top folding A2 size note card. And I've decided at this point that I'm going to make two cards. I want one card to feature just the buzzword and the die cuts and then another card that features some of the parts of the stamp set. So here's a look at card number one. This is going to be made from the die cuts that we colored and added those pretty little snow areas. And I'm making sure to put the ones that are a little bit more of the black ink in the back and the one that has less black ink in the front. And that way it's gonna give me even more dimension. And um, look at that holographic paper. Don't you just love it? I'm going to add the buzzword down here, and then I will add some of the stamped sentiment edges. Now I chose to make card number two off camera, and I had to use a different buzzword because we've got so many lovely buzzwords this time around from the new release. And I did not use anything from the stamp set that goes with it. So be sure to stay tuned at the end of the video and let me know which one that you like the best. The holographic paper looks just like these mirror rhinestones from the Honeybee store. I love how well they go together. So here's card number one. So be sure to let me know if you like card number one or here's card number two. Card number two doesn't have the little black strips of stamped images. What's your favorite? I would love to hear in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching with us here at Honey Bee Stamps and we'll see you next time.